Hi, I'm Pastor Bill of Meet of the Word Ministries. I want you to consider the works of faith. There are several references. The book of James refers to faith without works is dead. But in the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul, again, arguing his case of how and why faith is so superior to our own good works and our own good deeds in regards to getting the promises of God secured in our lives. He talks about the works of faith and he explains uh, the works of faith that Abraham did. And I want you to consider some of these things. This is in Romans chapter 4. We've been talking a little bit about Abraham, the father of our faith. But think of these uh, four, five, six things that, that the Apostle Paul, under the great inspiration of the Holy Spirit, uh, encourages us with today. It's not just those, old, those people back there. This is a word and a message to help us understand the promises of God are sure. This is what Abraham did. He didn't just have faith. He didn't just say, I have faith. I believe God. He, you know, that wasn't, you know, and then que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. He had works that followed his faith. It wasn't the works of the law. He took action. James writes about corresponding actions. Faith without corresponding actions is dead. If you're a believer, you need to understand you're supposed to act upon what God's word said. If you believe God and to have it accounted unto you for righteousness, you're going to have to act in faith. You're going to have to act on that word. You can't, you can't just sit there and say, I have faith. You need to understand how to work your faith. So regarding Abraham's faith, these are some of the works that he did. And of course, there's other things that are involved. But the first thing he said is that when God had made a promise to him that his, his body, he would have a child. And he's now 100 years old. His wife is 90 years old. Her womb is dead. It says Abraham hoped against hope. He hoped against hope because he believed in hope. That's the first thing faith will do is believe in hope. Uh, we hear some politicians talk about that, about, you know, have hope and everything. But you, hope is something that you need to hold on to. Faith is the, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not uh, seen. Faith is a tangible experience, a tangible knowing within you of things that you initially hoped for. And that's the first thing that Abraham did. He hoped against hope because he believed in hope. Then secondly, the scripture said, and Paul writes out by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that Abraham was not weak in faith and he considered not his own body. Now, this was pushing the envelope a little bit in his own life. He was 100 years old. His wife was 90 years old. Her, her womb was dead. She couldn't conceive anymore. She had even acknowledged that. But he refused to consider his own dead body or his own wife's womb that did not, would not produce. He believed the promise of God. So he did more than just hope. He was not weak in faith. He was not weak in faith. God doesn't want you to be a Christian that's just weak in faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more you study the word of God, the more it will it'll just strengthen you and encourage you and build you up. The more you sit under good, solid teaching and inspired teaching and teachings of faith in God's promises, that it's real, that it's alive, the better off you will be. You To overcome a weak faith, you've got to hear the word of God. Third thing he did. The Holy Spirit writes through the Apostle Paul, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. There were temptations to not believe. God said it, but it's too good to be true. How can it really ever happen? But he staggered not at the promise. He staggered not at the promise. Just talking yesterday about the two things that God did. He quickens the dead and calls things that are not as though they are. And how he wants us to behave like him, act like him, be like him in these deeds. He, he even told his disciples, go heal the sick, lay hands on them. Freely you have received, go raise the dead. In the first generation, the believers were so strong. Peter became so strong in faith. Once he, he walked on the water and then he sank and Jesus said, oh, you're, why you have such little faith? His faith was weak at that time, but his, his faith grew and grew and grew until he staggered not at the promise of God. Abraham did not stagger at the promise of God. Those of you that are struggling right now and staggering at a promise of God that he will forgive you of your sin, don't stagger anymore. Don't let unbelief dominate you and control you. Stand up on your feet and take and take the, the, the lies and cast them off of you and believe God. The next thing Abraham did was he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Strong in faith. The opposite of being weak in faith is to be strong in faith. And when you're strong in faith, you give glory to God. 
Giving glory to God is expressed much better in strong faith and a lot of, lot of high praise songs that you might give. Although certainly high praise is, is part of worshiping God and it's a, it's a, you know, it's a show of strong faith. I can, I remember when, when I first got saved and I started hearing about worship, my hands, you know, raise your hands. That was it. And I was afraid everybody was going to look. It took strong faith for me to raise my hands and worship God and shout the praises of God in the midst of other people that were going to think I was a little crazy or be ashamed of me or something. Finally, in closing today, I want to just mention this last point. He was also fully persuaded that, that what God had promised, he was also able to perform. The work of faith is to be fully persuaded. In these last days, as we're seeing the events taking place, earthquakes and tsunamis and, and nukes, and God knows what happens, happens next. You know, God told us the end times are upon us when we see these things taking place. Let's be fully persuaded and be people of action who will now do what he said to do. Watch and pray that we might be accounted worthy to escape all these things. I'm going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow. God bless.